Well, I'm glad I didn't scare you away day one. Thanks for joining me here for day two of Let's Play Bar Chords Together. Today we're going to tackle the major shape. So in the first lesson we talked about seven shapes. Today we're going to talk about major shapes. So these are pretty cool. They're going to be a little bit more challenging than last lesson and that's how we're going to kind of work through the series. It's going to get a little more challenging each day, but that's how you're going to get better at playing bar chords. So get yourself tuned up and let's get to it. Hey, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and click that alert bell so you know when the next video is coming your way. If you're interested in more learning resources, head over to allforyouk.com where we have a full searchable library of songs, song sheets, practice tracks, worksheets, and more. All for you, allforyouk.com. So what's the first thing you think of when I say B flat? Well, B flat is a chord that we come across quite often in songs and sometimes it maybe kind of scares us away. So today we're gonna to tackle the B flat chord and the chord that we use for the G shape. So the B flat chord, I'm gonna give you a couple different options of here, how to play it. The way that you probably have seen it written on a chord diagram is ring on the G string, third fret, middle on the C string, second fret, and index covering the bottom two strings on the first fret like this. And when you're playing this shape, I really want you to focus on making sure your thumb is right behind your index finger and your hand is pushed far enough forward here. So it's really important to be in good playing position when you have bar chords in your hands because if you drop the neck, it puts you in bad position. If you're too high or if you're sitting in a weird position, it just kind of works against you. So you really wanna make sure more so than any other chords with bar chords that you're in a nice good playing position with the neck elevated at a 45 degree angle because that gives your arm the nice slot here to go into playing the chord. So my thumb's behind, my hand is forward, I'm super flat here with my index finger. And when I play it, single strings, I hear all of those notes. If you don't hear all of those notes, check your fingers, make sure the pads of the underneath part of your ring and middle finger aren't touching those other strings because that's usually the culprit for the dead string sound. The other option here for the B flat chord here, which you'll see me do here today, is I actually bar the entire first fret to play the B flat chord sometimes. And that happens when I have other bar chords that I'm working with, so I just want to keep the bar down. I don't want to switch from bottom two strings to all strings. So I'll just play the same thing with my ring and middle finger, but my index finger will be barring the entire first fret. So there's your first shape, the B flat shape. This all comes from the A shape. So A major is played here. We move that up a half step, and we have B flat. We move this up again, we have B. Move it up again, we have C. So same concept that we used with the seventh chords applies to the major shape as well. Our second shape here comes from the F shape, which is here, but I'm gonna teach it to you as a G shape. So what we're gonna do is pretend you're playing your F chord with your ring and middle finger here, and we slide that up two frets, and we bar the second fret. So we have the second fret barred, our ring fingers on the fourth fret of the G string, middle fingers on the E string on the third fret. So if you look at this chord here, if you see my index finger and middle finger are playing what looks like your normal G shape, but we're just doing that in bar format. And then we also have our ring finger up top here. So this is a nice major shape to use and we'll use this today in our play along. So. The last thing I want to mention here is the strumming pattern. So we're going to take the strumming pattern a step further today and we're going to do down, down, up for the strumming pattern. So I'm just holding this G chord here to demonstrate. But this strum is counted one, two, and one, two, and one, two, and so down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So for every down, down, up, that equals one time. So we'll use that with our chord progressions that we're gonna to play together today. If you need to pause the video and take a second to work on these chord shapes, feel free to do so. Make sure when you play them, all of the strings are ringing out nice and clearly. So without further ado, let's get to some playing along together. If you're digging the sound of my uke, head over to allforyuke.com slash shop. You can have a Kala ukulele for yourself. When you buy your Kala ukulele through All For Uke, you're supporting us, and we really appreciate it. Make sure you check it out. Concerts, sopranos, tenors, baritones, 
a wide selection of accessories, capos, and more. All for you, allforyouk.com slash shop. All right, so for our first progression here, we're gonna use the B-flat shape, and we're gonna move that shape around. So we're gonna move it here from the first fret to the third fret, which makes it a C chord, and then we move it to the fifth fret, which makes it into a D chord, and then we'll move back to C. So we'll use the strumming pattern four times per chord. We'll go through it a couple times. Try to make improvements every time. So if maybe the first couple times through you're not hearing the notes perfectly clear, that's okay. You're gonna have plenty of opportunities to do these over and over and over again, and that's why it's great that this is on video. You can practice along with me at your leisure. Do bar chords all day. That's what I like to do, right? Uh, well, not really. Okay, so here we go. Starting on the B flat, I'll give you the choice. You can bar the entire first fret like me, or you can just bar the bottom two strings and have fun with that. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, down, up, three, four. Move to C. chords B flat smiling in B flat usually not using the same sentence but back to C two three four and D three four coming back down C two three four and on B flat All right, let's next use the second major shape here. So we're gonna use our F shape. We're gonna start on a G chord here. So we're barring the second fret, and then we'll move to A, which is on the fourth fret barred, same shape. And then we move to the sixth fret barred for the B chord. So we're gonna do two times, two times, and four times when we get up here to the B chord. So here we go, same strumming pattern. Keep that good energy vibing playing some bar chords you know it's a warm day here in chicago and bar chords just make it a little cooler for me so here we go one two three four So for the third play along here, we're gonna combine the two shapes. So our first chord will be G. And then watch this move to B flat. I'm gonna keep everything the same as I move to the first fret, and I just take my middle finger from the E string to the C string. So that's a situation here where playing B flat with the full bar over the first fret is gonna to be to your advantage. So we have G, B flat, and we climb up here to the third fret for C, and then we move back to G. So we're using the G shape, the B flat shape, the B flat shape again, and then back to the G shape. So here we go, two times per chord. This one's kind of got a cool like Radiohead vibe to it or something, I'm not sure, but I really like this progression. I might write a song with it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, going. Eyes on the hands, and we end 
sound on G. So what's your favorite bar chord shape so far? Do you like the sevenths or do you like the majors? Or are you ready for the minor shape which is coming in day three? I hope you guys had fun playing bar chords with me today. I know bar chords can be challenging, but you're doing this, you're getting better, and every day you spend with bar chords, the more comfortable and confident you're gonna be playing them. So let me know where you're playing your bar chords with me around the world. I love hearing from you guys, so leave those in the comments. Let me know if you have any chords that are troubling you more than others or any of these progressions that you especially like the sound of. I love hearing from you. My name's Kevin. I'll see you back here for day three. Take care.